last year we performed just over 7,000 endoscopy procedures um, and that was utilising two endoscopy rooms. Uh, a large proportion of those are what people might recognise as standard endoscopy, upper GI endoscopy and colonoscopy, but a significant proportion of what we do here is also what we call therapeutic and interventional endoscopy, so much more complex. Um, so uh, procedures such as uh, ultrasound probes into the stomach, uh, placing stents, removing early tumours, etc. And obviously the hope is now with three endoscopy rooms we plan to uh, increase that uh, volume significantly. I think certainly having lots of uh, cameras around the room is helpful. Uh, I think from a, from a patient's perspective, all members of the team, including the anaesthetists, you know, the nurses, have easy access to, um, to seeing what's going on endoscopically. And we also have the, um, um, the, the vital monitors from the uh, anaesthetics machines projected elsewhere in the room as well. So certainly the feedback has been from the nurses and the anaesthetists that they're much happier with the environment that they can see what's going on. I mean, obviously the rooms are primarily set up for the endoscopist having a good view of the, of the endoscopy monitor, and that's, that's uh, ergonomically as it should, which is great. And that wasn't the case in our previous rooms. So that's all been really good. Uh, we are planning to run some, uh, uh, some interventional and live courses later on this year. So we'll then really get the opportunity to kind of test uh, the cameras and the, the in-light cameras as well. Um, we've had some very early goes at that. It looks like the technology is going to work very well for us, um, but you know we're, we're, we're not quite there with regards to starting our courses, but I plan to run at least two this year. So I, I guess one of the things we ask ourselves is, you know, what benefit a patient's going to get from this? Um, I mean, clearly the most obvious one is that with increased capacity, our waiting times for patients to get important endoscopic procedures will reduce, so access for patients will improve. Um, I think there's also uh, going to be an ability for us to do more interventional and complex procedures and hopefully that's going to really benefit patients not only in Brisbane but also regional patients who have to fly down uh, for subspecialised uh, complex procedures which I think you know, we're really excited about. I guess from, the, uh, from designing the room perspective we did have the opportunity to go and visit uh, other endoscopy rooms which had been set up which had allowed us to really kind of uh, tailor uh, what we wanted here. We were confined a little bit by the existing footprint, so we weren't able to, for example, uh, have nice big square endoscopy procedure rooms all of the time, and that was just related to the constraints of, 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 a, new, of a new renovation within an existing unit. Um, but I think within those constraints, we have come up with a design that everyone's really happy with. Um, so I guess the things that we are interested in is having an uncluttered environment that was comfortable, fresh, modern, uh, had the technology that we needed to really maximise the benefit for our patients, but was also a, a fantastic environment for our staff and patients uh, to, to experience. So, I mean, we've, we've worked closely with Olympus over the last uh, year to deliver the technology within the rooms. Uh, you know, that we, we've certainly had some challenges, but I've been pleased that we've kind of been able to, you know, work through those and we've, I think we've uh, ended up with a, with a fantastic result that I think everyone's really happy with.